This is the foldable for section 6.1. Once you print it off, what you have to do is cut on the middle. You're going to put this side on the bottom first. So this face is up. And then you put this on the top. You try to line them up with this line right here. You fold it back so you can see all the tabs and you staple it at the top. First, we're gonna review what the name of the polygons are. When it has three sides, a polygon is called a triangle. When it has four sides, quadrilateral. When it has five sides, pentagon. pentagon. When it has six sides, hexagon. hexagon. Seven, heptagon. Eight, octagon. Nine sides, Nonagon. Ten sides. Decagon. Eleven. Hendecagon. Twelve sides. Dodecagon. And remember, when we have values greater than 12, we're going to call them ingons. So, for example, if we have 35 sides, we would call it a 35 gon. If we don't know the ma how many sides it has, we can also call it an ingon. Okay, if we fold the first tab over. I did put the highlighters in the geometry section just in case you need them because what we're looking at here is the sum of the interiors. The sum of the interiors is going to get be found by the formula 180 open parentheses in minus 2. So, for example, when we have three sides, we'll use the formula uh, 180. N would be 3 minus 2. 180 times 1 is 180. We already knew that, that the sum of the angles of a triangle was equal to 180. For a quadrilateral, 180, open parentheses, 4 minus 2. 180 times 2. 180 times 2 is 360. For a pentagon, we have 180, 5 minus 2. 180, 5 minus 2 is 3. 180 times 3 is 540. This is what your test questions will look like. I will give you a shape and I won't tell you what its sum is supposed to be. So that's the first thing that you have to do is figure out the sum. How we figure out the sum was just like before, one, two, three, four, five, five sides, so 180 times five minus two, that's 180 times three, which was 540. So you have to do that part first. The second part that you do is set all the angles equal to 540, that means six plus 7 plus 3x minus 5 plus 
x plus 10 plus 4x plus 8 plus 12x is equal to 540. So you just set all the sides, all the angles equal to the sum that you know that it has to be. That is its sum. Now we just simplify, we are combining like terms. 6x plus 3x plus x plus 4x plus 12x is 26x. Now we got 7 minus 5 plus 10 plus 8, so plus 20, is still equal to the sum of 540. Now we have to solve for x, so subtract 20 from both sides. 2x, no, 26x, sorry, is equal to 520. We're going to divide both sides by 26. X is equal to 20. All right, on the next part right here. For all of these, we're assuming that it's regular. There's two conditions for a polygon to be regular. Do you remember what they are? All congruent angles. Very good. All congruent, all congruent angles and all congruent sides. So what we're assuming is that we have all angles are congruent. In the instructions for the test and for the homework, it will say that. So how do we do this one? When we have an angle, that means one, we'll write 150 n is equal to the sum 180 in minus 2. That would be 150 n is equal to, and then we do the distributive property, 180 n. And 180 times a negative 2 is a negative 360. To solve for n, we're going to subtract 180 n from both sides. That's going to give me a negative 30 n is equal to a negative 360. Divide by negative 30, n is equal to 12. Depending on the question, it might be enough to say that n is equal to 12, like the number of sides, or name the polygon. If it asks you to name the polygon, you need to write dodecagon. So every time you see and, so one angle, we do 135n is equal to 180 in minus 2. We're going to do the distributive property. So it's still 135n is equal to 180n minus 36, I mean 360. We're going to subtract 180n from both sides. Negative 45n is equal to negative 30, 360. Divide by negative 45. N is equal to eight. Is equal to eight. Mm -hmm. So if it says to write the number of sides, that's good enough. It says to name the polygon. It is an octagon. octagon. I think that you understand the pattern, so I will not do the other two. It would still be the same. Let's move on to the next section.
The sum of the exterior, the sum of the exterior of the angle measures of the convex <laughs> polygon, one angle at each vertex, is 360. So the exterior is always 360. So what that means here is that we're going to extend this one out, and we're talking about the angle on the outside. I'm going to call this one A, this angle on the outside. If I keep going with that pattern, I'm going to extend out this way and call this one B. Extend this out. This one will be C. Extend this out. This one will be D. It goes this way. E. And then F. This also will assume that you have a regular polygon. Remember, regular means that all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal. Why does that matter? That matters because that means that all the angles on the inside will be the same. And if all the angles on the inside are the same, the angles on the outside will be the same. This one will be then the measurements of angle A plus the measurements of angle B plus the measurements of angle C plus the measurements of angle D plus the measurements of angle E plus the measurements of angle F is equal to 360. So no matter how many angles you have, the exterior will always equal 360. There are two ways to find the exterior angles. We will not worry about the first method. The second method is to divide 360 by the number of exterior angles. And so there's one, two, three, four, five exterior angles. You can also count them by the number of sides. So this one would be 360 divided by five, which gives you 72. 72. That means that just one of these exterior angles, so an exterior angle is 72 degrees.